exciting new development at Electromax is our serpentine pulley upgrade kit. We've developed this kit for most, actually all Yamaha engines over 14 horsepower. This simply entails the replacement of the existing water pump pulley, the new multi-groove water pump pulley bolts right into the existing threaded holes where the last one was at. Even more straightforward is the installation of our overlay crank pulley, which slips over the existing crank pulley and bolts up into existing threaded holes supplied by Yanma or other manufacturers. This popular upgrade feature allows you to run super high output Electromax marine alternators that deliver an awesome 160 amps and above. These wide industrial multi-groove belts run much smoother than a single V due to far greater traction. When you order the kit, the serpentine pulley for the alternator has been pre-installed at the factory. To start, we remove the four existing bolts from the water pump. Next, spread some barrier TEF gel that's included in the kit on the inside bottom flange of the water pump where it sits on the steel mounting like so. Also in the kit are four new replacement bolts that simply bolt in. Use the Allen key to put them in. <laughs> it really is that simple. Now let's install the serpentine crank pulley that slips over the existing crank. Again, just smear some barrier TEF gel on the entire inside and position so that the three bolts line up, like so. This is friction fit, so it's extremely tight to prevent any possible movement or vibration. Hold the crank tightly as you tighten the bolts with the Allen key. Prior to tightening the bolt on the tensioning arm, simply slip the certain time belt on all three pulleys. The deflection on the belt is C16. So once you have the alternator snug, go ahead and fully tighten the bolt on the tensioning arm. A very simple procedure. Now the cover can go back in place using the original four bolts. For boaters who have the space and need for a second alternator, we have engineered a second bolt-on serpentine crank pulley with a customized side engine mount that accepts a second alternator. Firstly, remove the three long bolts as before. Position the second pulley in place Line up the holes and simply install the three longer bolts provided in the kit. Again, it's a very, very snug fit, and we just tighten the bolts by hand to start. Once the pulley is snug, tighten with the Allen key. Once again, the Serpentine alternator pulley is installed at the factory. The next step is to install the mounting bracket in two specific threaded holes located on the side of the engine. Remove the two bolts like so. Position the bracket over the holes and install the new bolts that we've provided in the kit. The second alternator simply slips over the three and a half inch spacer that is incorporated in the bracket. We adjust the space in the rear foot to ensure a very tight fit. Simply push the bolt provided through the alternator foot and bracket spacer, attach the nut, and now just hand tighten. In the spare hole at the bottom of the engine, we bolt on the adjustment arm that comes in the kit. Then using a quarter inch spacer, provided, attach the arm to the alternator and hand tighten. Once the correct tension is achieved with the belt, tighten the adjustment arm top and bottom. If you are installing any alternator over 120 amps, we strongly recommend installing a multi-stage exterior regulator that regulates the energy output in small increments to prevent engine drag. Wire the second alternator as previously shown for the first. Once this is done, tighten all relative bolts and you're away. Mm -hmm.